Hi everyone, welcome in this new video about my sound painting recognition tool. And today we're going to speak about uh, the new uh, model released by Google called HandPose, which we will use to recognize uh, sound painting signs made uh, with the hands, such as volume or tempo. So let's just launch it from inside Max. Uh, we will see that it loads uh, an electron window that will soon appear on your screen. And we will route this new input to a model that we'll call Hands Adaboost because we will be using the Adaboost classifier inside Wikimator. So there we go. Here we have the electron window with our uh, skeleton of Hands appearing. Um, we can see that I'm not using all the points. Again, I'm trying to minimize the number of features that I'm using, uh, that I'm filling the model, the, the classifier with. I'm just using what I think are the most significant ones. Um, once I've rooted this to uh, the hands Adaboost model, I can see that there is some real-time data uh, received by the model, when I, at least when I have my hands in front of the camera. Uh, and then I can just leave PoseNet normalized uh, for the full body model that we will not use in this video. Um, okay, then let me just clear uh, a few things. Maybe that I didn't clear before. Okay, uh, we have here two multiple buffers, uh, one for each model, the full body and hands. Let's just record some signs to the hands model. So. We define our signs, uh, volume and tempo of the category how, and some parameters of the recording session, and then we can just uh, basically hit uh, launch the recording. And there we go. We will record some uh, signs tempo. So I'm, I'm moving a bit my hands so that I'm making sure uh, that the recording of each example is. Uh, as broad as possible in, in the space of the camera so that it, it definitely allows for uh, more generosity in the recognition patterns. Changing to volume, once again, moving uh, from the camera maybe. Okay. Right, now that we have all uh, the signs we wanted to train, we can save uh, the buffer to file. So if I hit that button, what happens is that in the data folder, uh, within sub some subfolders that are actually corresponds to uh, the inputs that you're using, it saves uh, each buffer to a different file. Um, and so it can happen that you want to at some point load the data instead of uh, recording it. If, imagine you've already recorded a lot of sessions of uh, some signs, then you want to hit clear buffers here and uh, you want to go back to the data file and say, for instance, load the whole buffer of the session you just had, you just drag and drop it here and it loads it inside the buffer. Then next step is creating our model with Wikimator. So here uh, I'm moving on to the classification layer. Um, we would just want to match, of course, the settings inside Max. So this means that we should change some parts here um, and then adjust the number of e to match the number of features from HandPose, which is 21. And then we will build one classifier with two classes, which will be tempo or volume, but they can be more, of course, depending on how many signs you want to define and you want to use. And let's make it an Adaboost classifier. Uh, then if everything is fine, yeah, lights turn green, which means that we are recognizing something and here, yeah, it stops. So this is when fine. Um, and then the next step is training things. So let me just uh, show you both screen at the same time. What we want to do is to simulate the recording of examples inside Wikimator 
from Mac. So if I just hit this, what you can see that we collected more than uh, 500 uh, training examples that are now loaded inside Wikimator. Okay. So here, volume, tempo, volume, tempo, volume, tempo, and it's still tempo, and it's still a volume here. Wherever I move my hand, yes, it's still a tempo, and this is still a volume, and so on. So cool, uh, this is what I wanted to show you. And of course, the uh, automata and all the structures that you've seen in the previous videos are still working, but now we're just able to switch from uh, different models and to use our hands also uh, to perform sampling in science. I hope you appreciated this video and stay in touch uh, for future updates on the sound painting revolution science. Ciao!